What's up everybody, Dragast here, and today we are doing the much requested, my personal picks for the top 10 Besiege creations. Uh, you guys have been asking for this for a long time now, and realistically, it's just a very hard video to do because there's so many different genres of Besiege creations, and so many, I've done so many Besiege episodes where I spotlight different creations, I didn't even really know where to start with this, but I, I made some simple, simple guidelines going into this. It has to be memorable to me, so things that just pop into my head, I don't have to look it up, and it has to be reliable. Uh, the biggest issue with a lot of Besiege creations are, don't get me wrong, they're great, but they are very unreliable, especially the flying designs. They work maybe, uh, we had a flying sheep going by there, that was great, uh, they, but they work maybe t literally 2% of the time, so don't get me wrong, they look great on YouTube because I can edit out a lot of the issues that arise, um, but when you actually play with them, you realize how unreliable they actually are. Uh, with this list, everything in it actually works the way it is meant to work. As you can see, this one is working flawlessly. No, I'm just driving it very poorly. So yeah, that's going to be the list. It's going to be unique designs that just were memorable to me, as well as are extremely reliable. Uh, if you do want to download these designs, like always, I'll have a Dropbox link in the description of this video, and you can just download the designs right there. So to start off, we have one of the coolest looking designs. It doesn't really do much besides look cool. It is the Chinese snake or Chinese dragon, what, or sorry, the flying snake or Chinese dragon, as the developer has called it. The developer is Bikuta Gito, and uh, it was one of my first major videos. I actually uh, put it in a thumbnail, and it got a lot of views just because of, I think, curiosity from the thumbnail. Thumbnail. Uh, I, I just really like this design. It's actually very easy. You essentially just drive the head around and the body floats behind you because you are using helium balloons. Uh, it doesn't really do much. You can't really beat anything with it. You just can look cool and I, I don't know. I, I, when this first came out, there was nothing like this and that was so damn unique to me. Uh, there are a few things that have been following it now that do actually do it better, but I decided to keep with the original because I, I like original designs, and this thing works still great as well. Also, I do want to state this top 10 list has no order. These are just my top 10 designs. There's no favorite one. They're all great in their own unique ways, and I enjoy all of them. It's hard for me to really um, highlight helicopters in this game because of how difficult they are to fly. The physics really isn't there for aerial flight yet. I don't know why we are rotating. This is hilarious, though. Um, but this one is one of the best ones that I've ever used. Let's keep in mind, I am not good at flying things. I will fully admit that. Uh, but this one, I can at least kind of hover for a little bit and kind of control it. So here we go. It, it, it's got um, turning. It's got pitch and yaw, as you can see. Uh, just a very unique design, and it's so easy to use. Now, unfortunately, I wish the physics were a bit better in this game because this thing would be amazing. Let's see if I can actually get it going here a bit. Um, it's just, it's still, it's still really difficult for me, but by now, I would be, like, dead in most helicopters. As you can see, I am not doing very well. But don't, don't take it from this hel- This helicopter does everything right, alright? You, you, you have up, you have down, you have- Oh, I-, I <laughs> <laughs> I broke my tail. You have left, you have right, and then of course you have the pitch, yaw, the forward, the backward. So th it has everything you need. Uh, it's just still extremely difficult in Besiege to make a good flying helicopter. I have seen people with the right hands though use this thing very well. Now I wish the camera would follow the back too. Oh, I'm following the, the actual blade because trying to change to my actual mouse is... A killer for me. Okay, so let's actually see if we can cannon these guys up. There we go. Oh yeah, we got we got one. Now I'm gonna kill myself because I can't fly this thing very well. Uh, but yeah, you get the idea. Um, unfortunately, it, in my hands, it doesn't ju ju justify it. If if you actually understand aerial flight and are good with it, this thing is th one of the best designs out there for helicopters. Okay, so now I've stabilized it a little bit. Um, I am getting a little better. The, 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 the more you play with it, the more you understand it. It's really not hard. It's, it's only eight buttons to control this thing, which for an aerial flight uh, vehicle isn't that much. Let's try and go forward here and do a little bit of churning. It's just, it's so unfortunate that the actual um, camera doesn't follow the back of a vehicle. There should be a, a, an option to have that, because when you're, when, when you're trying to do a flight vehicle, you really need that, or shit like that happens, like, at least for me. 
Everybody, if you haven't seen it already, meet Biddy Betty. Now, this may not look like much, but Black Betty, its father, and this is its more updated design, is one of the most downloaded Besiege vehicles ever, and this one is just a little smaller and a little better. I think it's absolutely adorable. It is not a big design, but what's so amazing about it is this thing, this small little design, can complete the full Epsilon uh, map. And it does it just by having so much going on with such a small body. It's got cannons that you can aim and shoot independently. You also have an arm that you can control, extend, um, so you can blow up walls and whatnot. You can put it in your in the front. Uh, I've never actually personally tried to complete Epsilon with it because it would take forever, but I have seen YouTube videos of it successfully working. Um, that is really it. It is not... Oh, God. Okay, well, you're not supposed to do that with it. That really is the whole design. It, there's not much else to it, but if you start thinking about it, it is very well thought out. You can actually use this as a catapult if you want. Uh, I'm gonna actually try it here. There we go. Um, which I just fucking annihilated that. That was total luck. I'm really not that usually that good. Uh, but it's just an amazing design and, and a nice little tank body that can get around really quickly. I have so much appreciation for this design because a lot of people try and build the biggest and baddest design. This guy is just well thought out. He he does everything he needs to do and not much more. Come here, I I I just want you to meet my bomb. Come on, it's a oh well you 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 met my wheel instead. Nice house. I just kind of want to nudge it. Oh wow, it didn't even explode. It just punched a house. That was great. Oh my god, I love it. An <laughs> explosion. Now here is probably my favorite tank. There's a few on this list, but this one is just amazing. It is the Juggernaut. This thing, well, let, let's just watch this, alright? I mean, look at that. <laughs> it can flip right over. It is so damn fast. It does not leave anything in its tracks. Uh, it's pretty much all metal too, so this should hopefully survive that. I mean, look at it. It is so freaking stable. This is not on invincibility mode, by, by the way. Now, the one downside for some people is that it doesn't have many weapons. It's got flamethrowers coming out the back and front, and that is it. But I think that's what's so damn cool about it. It's it, it's a weapon in itself, as you can clearly see. Now, you can flame things if you want, and there's not really anything to flame anymore. But honestly, it's more the movement of this thing that amazes me. Like, not many tanks can do that and still be stabilized and not break its tracks. It is so damn fast, so damn cool, and definitely my favorite tank. And let's see it in action, why don't we? Because why the hell not? Oh, <laughs> you can't even keep it going straight because it does wheelies all the time. Oh, it is bouncing a bit. I almost did lose my track there if you saw that. Um, actually, let's turn on my flamethrowers and start spinning this thing. There we go. <laughs> Look at it. I mean, it's just bouncing everywhere. It is so... I don't get how it can be so bouncy yet so stable as well. I mean, look at this thing. I, I got arrows all in my tracks. That usually breaks tanks immediately. Uh, I'm trying to get over to these guys. It is kind of hard to drive right now, as you can see. I'm bouncing all over the place. But uh, I should be able to get over them if I can break these damn arrows off my tracks. By, by the way, I don't know if I stated it. This was made by Core88. Core actually has two creations in my list. We see in the next one, uh, right, right, right after this one. And it's essentially this one's little brother. Um, okay, there we go. I think I pretty much got everybody. Just gotta get these last few guys, and bam, we're done. Okay, so we saw ju Juggernaut, now it's time to see Mech Tank. This is an extremely cool design by Core88 once again. Um, similar, but actually quite different if you actually think about it. It's got a similar track design. It's a bit slower, but still stable, yet wobbly, crazy-ass tracks. But as you can see, it does have cannons on this one. It's also got a lot of flamethrowers. We got three on the bottom, but two on the top. And you can also turn these things to whatever way, you can actually turn them all the way around if you want. Uh, so you don't actually even need to really use your tank too much. You can just use this and then you can tilt it up and down. Let's see if we can snipe them. I actually showed this in a very recent video, so you guys probably have already seen this one. But damn, is it a good design. Okay, we're gonna try and shoot these bad boys. Oh, 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 yeah, got the final one and another one. Good shit. Now, it doesn't move as good as the Juggernaut, I will be honest, but it's still extremely stable. And that's what's so important with this stuff. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm just gonna flame you up. There we go. You can actually tilt this down as well and use your top flamethrowers. I mean, you, you, can, you can aim your flamethrower. Not, not many things can do that. That's so cool. 
And being that it's all metal, like, the whole thing, you don't have to worry about burning yourself, too. You're just gonna turn a little red and look a little bit more badass. Definitely not as fast as the Juggernaut, though, and a little bit more wobbly, I would say, as well. The tracks do look really cool because they got that extra upward motion going on to them, but I did, it's definitely a little slower. Uh, some people might like that, though. It, it does act more tank-like now. The ju Juggernaut is essentially just crazy. This thing, kind of tank-like, yet kind of drone-like as well, considering that it's got a movable top thing going on here. And once again, we are not in invincibility mode. These things are extremely stable. This thing is actually so heavy, it's not lifting, because it's all metal. Look, <laughs> I, was, I was hoping I could, like, test it out. There we go. You can flip this one upside down and still drive it. It's not supposed to be doing that, but you know what? It's, it still kind of works. Let me see if I can flip it over. Oh, look at that! I did it! Oh, just spinning that flips it right over. This is so cool. So yeah, that is Mech Tank V1. I'm gonna have to say Juggernaut is a little better, but this is still one of the best tanks out there. And it's a little smaller as well, so if you do like a smaller tank, it's always good to try out. Now, if you ever wanted to see a real tank, here it is. Now, unfortunately, this thing is almost game-breaking. The designer, as you can see, actually had to put balloons in the middle because it, would so, it was so heavy, it would crash in on itself. Also, at the bottom, we have fans that are pushing it up. We have wheels that are helping it. So, essentially, it is a tank, but it is one that is pretty much breaking this game. It's moving extremely slow, like so slow you wouldn't even really notice. Um... More, more, it's more for me just something to look at and really appreciate because the, the, the designer actually told me it took 11 hours to design this. It was made, by the way, by Xipo. I want to say that's how his name is pronounced. He, he called it the Heavy Tank as he also called it the Mammoth Tank. So I don't know what he wants it to be called. Uh, depending on where you look, it's called two different things. But it is, bar none, the best tank in terms of looks I have ever seen. It's hard to tell if it works very well because you have to run it at such a low frame. I'm, at, I'm running this game at 2% right now and I'm getting 21 FPS. Um, the highest he suggests you do is, I think, 4%. And I, I have a pretty decent PC and I can only run it at 2. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't use this for anything more than looking at it and appreciating it. Because um, he worked a lot on this and, like, he, again, game breaking. He had to add balloons in the middle to keep it up. He had to add these things on the bottom to keep it up. Just, just an amazing design, and something that is so nice to look at. And here we have the Hailfire Droid. This thing, when I saw it, uh, there was nothing cooler to me in this game so far. Uh, and, and for good reason, it is essentially a glitched craft. You're not meant to be able to make these circular designs. Someone actually figured out how to do this, put, put it up online, and then people made things out of it. This being one of the most major creations, the Hailfire Droid. Now, unfortunately, its weaponry doesn't work right now because the mod isn't working, uh, the actual rocket mod for the um, flamethrowers. So these will just essentially fall off, but when it was working, each one of these rockets uh, was, a, uh, sorry, each one of these flamethrowers was essentially a rocket that you could shoot. Right now it's just gonna fall off, as you can see, um, which is unfortunate. Oh god, this thing's like. Is this thing, can this thing burn? Oh yeah, because it's got wooden wheels, so I am gonna burn it because I'm an idiot. But uh, yeah, you get the idea. Uh, very cool design. Definitely one of the most vi visually pleasing designs and quite stable for what it is. If weaponry is what you're looking for in Besiege, this is one of the best things out there. It is called Horazo or Horizo, I don't know how to pronounce it, and it is a missile artillery machine. As you can see, it's essentially just a big square of are missiles. That's really all it is. Um, but it does work remarkably well, and it is actually besieged legal. So if you do want to actually complete the maps, you can use this design to do so. With this amount of bombs on it, that is crazy. So you can drive it around. It does have tank steering, so you can put, put place it wherever you want. I'm not going to move this too much. Uh, you get the idea. Tank steering is tank steering. Uh, and then you need to set it up. It is artillery, so it does take a little bit of time to set up. Um, it's extremely heavy as well, so let's just, let's just give it time here and enjoy the fact that this thing looks freaking amazing. I mean, look at this. This is seriously an artillery machine. Okay, so we raised the missile rack. Now we can actually raise it even more with these wheels in the front. It does sometimes buckle down. I don't know if this is going to work in without invincibility mode you know what i think I, th I think we'll play it safe and keep it there it is definitely struggling that is a lot of weight to put on one little beam of wood as you can see 
Actually, for, for the sake of this, I'm just gonna lower these. You can use this in invincibility, and it will stabilize, but you know what? We, we, we don't even need that range, I don't think. That should be good, and that is a lot more stable as well. Now, this does have missile cycles, so you shoot generally three to six at a time. Uh, we're gonna shoot some right now. There you go. You can kind of control them. They're a little difficult. There we go. Those ones didn't go too far. Those were the lowest ones. We're just gonna keep going here, see if we can get a, a, any good shots going on. There's, there's a wave of three. I just realized I'm shooting right in between the grip pad, or sorry, the gravity pad that's pushing it down. Let's actually try and move this thing. Okay, so I am in invincibility mode now, and you can see that those wheels work just fine if you're running invincibility mode. Let's actually follow these bombs, see if we can get any good shots here. Uh, so we're gonna go, oh, that sh <laughs> the sheep just exploded. The suicidal sheep every time. All right, let's see if we can do this here. Uh, I would like to go for that house ultimately, but I don't think I'm gonna get the range. Yep, that, that, that wasn't good. Okay, next shot. Come on, baby. Uh, we, we got four this time. I wish you could control them more. If they had tail fins on the back, that would be perfect. That, that's actually, it, it might actually work when we get to these top bombs, though. Okay, I think these ones are going next. I'm not certain, though. Yep, there we go. This one might be good. I don't know. Uh, depends on the situation. Here we go. Oh, hit the house. Please hit the house. Okay, drop in. Oh, man. I, I, I tried to stop him, but it didn't work. Uh, these ones are probably going next. Not sure, though. Oh! <gasps> what happened? Oh, my God. Five just suicided us. Oh, I hit it. Oh, my God. We did it. We finally did it with the two shot. I gotta go back to it, though, and actually try and get the rest of these gone. Okay, I actually figured out what is going on here. So, when we shoot the first bombs, they go just fine. And then when we shoot the fours, some of them attach. It's been doing that every time. So you're going to want to reshoot the, I think the fours again. There you go. And then they go off. So you got to be careful because it is using the, the the grippers to grip the bombs, and sometimes they get in the way depending on the angle that you're shooting with. So we should be okay now, though, to uh, keep going. There we go. Okay, I, I got them out of here. At least I got rid of them. So five is a dangerous one, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, let's see if we hit it. No, we, we got really close, though. Okay, we're just going to aim this up. I actually already blew up the house. I didn't even notice. That, that was just luck. Um, actually, you know what? Let's see if we can hit these soldiers way over there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm, I'm running over things. As you can see, you lose a lot of your shit when you start uh, <laughs> shooting stuff. And, of course, they get in the way sometimes. No, let's do it there. That should be good, I think. I don't know. It's really it's really wobbly. That's my one complaint with this design. It's so heavy that it's wobbly, so it's hard to aim it as an artillery. Uh, we're going to try it, though. Here we go. Oh, man. Oh, why did the not two one middle ones not go? I don't know. I don't know, but this is looking real good. This is looking real good. Oh, my God. That was that, that was the best snipe I've ever done. I've ki I killed everyone. You guys have seen this one a few times now. There's nothing crazy with it. I just really like the suspension of it and, of course, the look of it. This thing is... Obviously, you're not going to kill a lot with it, but it just shows how amazing some of the designs can be. I mean, this thing is just eye candy to me, and it does drive... Well, it definitely doesn't drive realistic, as you can see, but it, it feels amazing. And those guys just freaked out because I'm here. Oh yes, please. Please catch on fire. That's just so badass. I am I am in invincibility mode currently. You don't actually need to be. I just forgot to turn it off. Um I I don't know why I like this design so much. A lot of people would say why it's just a car, who the hell cares? I mean, but look at it. It's a hot rod. It's so damn cool looking, and I really appreciate it. And finally, if you didn't expect this one, I don't know what to tell you. This is the Mammoth Mark IV. The Mammoth was one of the first designs I checked out, and it was easily the design that blew me away the most in this game so far. It's been <laughs> it's been around for so long, it amazes me. Obviously, it has been updated. This is the fourth version. Um, but it's just phenomenal. The, the, the walking mechanism. There's so many bad walkers in this game. I'm not going to lie. They do look cool. But when you're trying to use them, they do not work at all. This thing, it's flawless. It works just fine. So easy to use. And it has a very unique turning mechanism. This was the first design to really use this turning mechanism. Essentially, the, 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 the feet turn and then that, of course, turns the whole thing on a dime. Not only is it an amazing walker, it has some amazing firepower as well. This was the first design that I've seen that really utilized other things that weren't supposed to be weapons into weaponry. I mean, you have a cannon up here that uses the half-pipe things, 
as the actual cannon. It's not just... I mean, the cannons down here aren't even weapons in this thing. This is just projectiles for the bombs itself. It's such a cool design. And this cannon, I mean, I haven't seen anything like it before. And it is just flawless. You actually just pop it up here. Uh, and then you can shoot it. And it shoots out three fireballs of hell uh, wherever you want them to go. And then, of course, you have... The four rockets, and I love how it actually changes itself and, tr and hides a lot of its stuff just so you can move these cannons around, or so sorry, these bombs around and shoot them wherever you want. Now, these bombs, you can shoot them one at a time as well. They don't go very far, but just the fact that someone utilized the cannons as projectiles is amazing. And as you can see, they are a bit random as well. So not, not the best design, but still, the first person I've seen that actually utilized the cannons as something that wasn't a weapon. And then, of course, if there is any survivors left, as you can clearly see there is, you can just wander on over and then use its Tusk Flame to kick some ass. So come on over, guys. I just, I just want some crispy bastards here. There we go. And they're burnt. So yeah, guys, that is my top 10 list for my favorite Besiege designs thus far. Um, I had to go through a lot. I missed a lot of them. I might even forgot some. I don't know. But these are some of the ones that just stick in my memory and still amaze me to this day. I hope you guys enjoyed this list. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, this is just a quick message thanking you for watching my video. I hope it gave you literally minutes of enjoyment. If you want to see more, I've added playlists and videos like this one at the top right of your screen. If you want to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or directly support me, all my social media and Patreon links are in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and liking. I'll see you in the next one.